News Anchor RBT back here in the flesh today, bringing you what a news anchor brings you, and that's the news. Since the last Madden 22 News Anchor episode, there's been a few things leaked since then, and some answers to some questions that we did have in the last episode. We're gonna get those answers and more today, but first, let's take a quick listen to a word from today's sponsor. I would like to give a massive shout out to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I know that we like to build teams on Madden. Madden, but what if I was to tell you that you could build a team that could win you a million dollars in cash? I'm happy to say now with Underdog Fantasy, now you can. Underdog Fantasy is running their biggest fantasy football tournament ever with three and a half million dollars in prizes and drafts are filling right now. Best part of all, all you do is draft on Underdog Fantasy. There's no lineup changing, no last minute injury concerns, no other trades with dudes that spam you like a thousand times a week trying to trade you freaking Franklin, the backup running back, for like a Tyreek Hill, none of that. You just draft and Underdog takes care of the rest. It's draft day every day with none of the management. Now, this isn't like other fantasy contests you've played where it's basically impossible to win. If you're a football fan, you can absolutely walk away with the million dollar top prize. The best part, they're going to let you try it out for absolutely free. You can head over to underdogfantasy.com or download their Slick mobile app. When you use promo code RBT25, you get $25 for free when you sign up today. Underdog is so confident that you'll love it that if you don't, they'll actually give you up to $100 back. Now, once again, head over and sign up over at underdogfantasy.com, or you can just simply just click the link in the description box below. Once again, massive shout out to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. With that said, let's get into the rest of it. Now, first thing, of course, the Madden 22 cover. This was supposedly the actual cover Madden 22 that got leaked by a GameStop employee now, this has kind of happened the last few years. Somebody at like a GameStop always gets a very early like leaked picture of the cover and they'll leak it. In the past few years, it's turned out to be true. Well, from what I'm hearing in the background, this is not confirmed. So, I mean, there's still maybe a chance it could be Derrick Henry, but it made so much sense because Derrick Henry's number 22. It's Madden 22. They haven't had a running back in a while. He's just, I mean, he had 2,000 yards last year. It just made sense for a guy like Derrick Henry to be on the cover. And everything coming out, all the kind of leaks and everything was confirming this. Well, since then, we have heard this is more than likely not going to be the case. If what I'm hearing is correct, they wanted the MVP Aaron Rodgers be in the cover, but obviously he might not be back with the Packers because of everything that's going on. So they can't do that. Like, how bad would it suck for them? They put an Aaron Rodgers Packer cover out there and he got traded like the next week because he demanded to be traded. And the CEO of EA Sports even said in a recent interview that the cover this year, they're going in like a complete different direction. So it might be something that we've never seen before. A lot of people think it may be two quarterbacks. On the cover, maybe Tom Brady, Pat Mahomes. I mean, I was obviously as a Titans fan, I was excited for Derrick Henry to be on the cover. I want to know if, like you, as a, a general NFL fan, maybe not a fan of the Titans, not a fan of Derrick Henry or anything, but would you have thought Derrick Henry would have been a good choice for a cover athlete from Madden 22? Like, would you think that was solid? Because I thought that would have been solid, so I'm kind of disappointed. But I'm, I'm curious to see if you guys think Derrick Henry deserved to be on the cover of Madden 22. But as of right now, it seems like it's not going to be Derrick Henry. That could not or could be true. I would probably say 20% that this will be Derrick Henry. More than likely, it won't be Derrick Henry for the Madden 22 cover. It's just weird that there's not been any confirmation from EA Sports. It's June, and we really haven't heard much. It is currently June 11th, and we've not seen one bit of gameplay. No cover leaks, no ratings, nothing like that. Which I'm sure it's coming, but this is really weird. We haven't heard concrete evidence from EA Sports about Madden 22 and the game should be out in about two months. We haven't heard a thing about the game aside from the stuff that few of the guys up at EA said about franchise mode and that was back before freaking Madden 21 was actually officially released. But hopefully we'll get confirmation within the next few weeks or so. Watch by the time I upload this, the cover actually gets released by EA Sports. But like I said guys, it seems like the leaks were not true for the first time from a GameStop that Derrick Henry will actually not be on the cover of Madden 22. Now, if he is on the cover, don't come from my freaking throat or anything, bro. Next, you guys might be wondering, RBT, what are you showing in the background? It says, registration is now full. We're like 99% sure this was the beta. Just randomly on EA's website, they gave you an opportunity to sign up for a Madden 22 or Madden NFL opportunity. Everybody knows it is the beta and it ended pretty quickly. I luckily did get signed up, but a lot of people missed out on this because it really didn't get posted too many places. So like, I guess I got lucky, but it does seem like the Madden 22 beta 
will be coming out in the month of June, I would expect. Now, between now and the time the beta is released, I see somewhere there's another chance to sign up for the beta. I will probably post a link on my Twitter and stuff like that. So if you guys do want to go follow me, I will definitely try to keep you guys up to date on what's going on with Madden 22 over on the Twitter. What this means is because the beta is probably going to come out at the end of this month or maybe in the next few weeks or so, that's when you'll really start to hear a lot of leaks. I mean, you're not supposed to ever post videos or pictures of the beta, but you guys know it always happens. Somebody will post some stuff, post a video clip of some glitches or some new stuff, and that's definitely how they get stuff leaked. Like, obviously, eSports knows that's going to happen. You're not supposed to do it, but it, we can expect it. We can expect to really learn a lot more about what the game's going to look like, the new features, everything like that, and the game what's really been touched this last season. We're really going to be able to see that once the beta does drop. Maybe franchise mode and stuff is not accessible in the beta, but a bare minimum, I think, within the next few weeks, we'll actually be able to see what Madden 22 gameplay for next-gen console is actually going to look like. And next, this is the league that we did talk about in the last Madden 22 news video, where the executive producer of EA Sports, Sean Grady, in an interview, I think purposely had this in the background. It was showing what is more than likely going to be the new staff management screen in franchise mode. So you're actually going to have a full coaching staff, not just your head coach. You're going to have coordinators. Not sure how deep it gets because this is the only leaked screenshot we got. But we think he did this on purpose just to kind of get his guys excited, knowing, hey, there are changes coming to franchise mode. And the reason I wanted to bring this up again is because this is, once again, another not speculative thing, but a thing I can't confirm but did want to throw out there is I've been hearing a lot behind the scenes that this is the year for franchise mode. That they weren't just blowing smoke last year when they felt like they dropped the ball in Madden for franchise mode fans. And we got the, the hashtag trending worldwide. And then I think it was like number one in the United States for just a few minutes and it definitely top 10 for a long time. They took that to heart. This is the rumors now. Could be completely false, but it seems like they did spend a lot of time in franchise mode. What specifically they added outside of this, I can't really tell you, but it just does seem like there's a lot of stuff still to come out that we're going to be excited about that they've added for Madden 22 franchise mode. Now, really quick, I did want to end off today's video with just a few things that kind of popped in my head over the last few days. I've been tweeting about it. Guys, need to follow me on Twitter. I've been putting a lot more stuff out there. Just trying to be as interactive as possible. So if you guys do want to go like see this stuff I have to say, you can go follow me on Twitter or even on Instagram, link in the description box below. And oh yeah, this is completely random. Nothing to do with the video. Would you guys like to see a clips channel? I know you guys might have seen some of your favorite YouTubers create clips channels you guys would want me to create one let me know in the comment section below but what i wanted to leave you guys off with is just a few ideas i had for madden 22 that if they're not implemented in the game i think right then and there it's an absolute failure there's stuff that is just a given that it should be in the game for example for madden 22 if there is not cross play i'm going to lose my mind if we once again have to go through a complicated process here on the channel when I'm trying to play online franchises with subscribers not being able to play with me because they have PlayStation, some have Xbox. This ridiculous, man. It's 2021. We have got to have Madden Cross play for the first time ever. MLB The Show got it done. Xbox for the first time ever for MLB The Show. They have cross play work. I mean, they had some hiccups in the beginning, but if they can do it, EA Sports can do it. One of the biggest gaming companies, if not the biggest in the entire freaking world, bros. You've got to bring cross play. That right then and there will be a huge dub just because it opens up a whole entire door of new users you could play year in and year out, new friends that you could play with on the game. They've just got to have cross play my entire life, bro. It instead of in franchise modes on Madden, wanting to play online stuff with buddies, but they had PlayStations and I had Xbox, and we couldn't play in the same franchises or dynasties or anything like that. But now is the time, bro, just to like buckle down and know it's 2021. We've got to add crossplay to the game. I think no matter what they add to franchise mode, if crossplay is not in the game, this is already a huge deal. They've got to add crossplay. It should have been added a long time ago, but with now the new generations, man, this being the first game built dedicated for a next gen console, it's got to be, got to be, got to be. The next one is not such a big deal, like the whole crossplay thing. If I had to pick one or the other, I'd probably pick the crossplay. But there's got to be custom schedules in Madden 22 franchise mode. I know this kind of seems like a little wish list thing. I haven't done any dedicated wish list video for Madden 22, so get moments like this to try and throw my ideas out there. But there's got to be some sort of custom schedule tab. 
I hate that we have to, every franchise we start, play the same exact schedule that the NFL is playing that year. That means you can't control who you play in your schedule. So if you're an online franchise, you would think, you know, if you had four buddies in the same online franchise, you'd want to play all four and customize your schedule where you can play all four. You don't want to have it dictated by what the NFL schedule is. You want to be able to play your friends whenever you want to. So custom schedules, I think, is huge. I should be able to customize my schedule for whatever franchise, however I want to. Like, obviously, within the restraints of the league, like having to play so many division opponents a year, having to play so many opponents per year from the other conference, from other divisions, I would, obviously, you have to stay within the restraints of that. But there's no reason, if I'm in a four-man online franchise, I shouldn't be able to schedule all four of my friends every single year, the entire duration of my online franchise. It's just got to be added. It's got to be. I have some other things I want to talk about, too, but I've probably already bored you guys too much already. Like, the roster creation screen, it's got to be. The creation center has got to be fixed and in terms of creation center I also mean in terms of roster creation trying to create rosters and stuff the fact that we're still not be able like to create players offline edit rosters and be able to like put certain superstar like abilities on the players from the edit screen you're not able to put their development from the edit roster screen you're still restrained like you can't trade players they're injured in real life that should never be a thing I've been harping on the roster creation tab of this game For the past three years they've not touched it there's just no reason why I shouldn't be able to create whatever roster I want to. I shouldn't have to not be able to trade for my favorite player in Madden just because in real life at that time they're injured. Like, that's just stupid. I should be able to do whatever I freaking want to. So those are like three big things I really, really hope they do fix in Madden 22 franchise mode. I actually talking about that same exact thing about being able to put like development on players and offline roster creation. I actually did see a developer say they want to do that, but it's a lot harder than what you think. So they didn't really sound too promising, but at least they know what we're talking about. So that's one thing at least we can kind of update. Doesn't seem like that's going to be in Madden 22, but hopefully just the roster creation tool itself in Madden 22 is at least some bit updated because I really feel like they have not touched that in the past five years and I've done so many wishlist videos over the past four years and they've never touched it so hopefully this is the year but I mean I'm excited I am a little sad there's been so silent but a ton of stuff coming still I'm sure we have a trailer or at least a sneak peek coming soon EA plays coming in late July I believe hopefully franchise mode stuff will be coming out hopefully it'll be starting to like drop their rating stuff we'll be able to see rookie rating stuff like that we're probably about two months away about two months maybe two and a half months away from the drop of Madden 22 depending on if they drop it early August late August mid August sometime in August more than likely I'm excited hopefully you guys are as well so with that said I'm out of here because dudes I've got to go poop